So a lot of the coverage you see from Sia, especially over the years, has been on these crazy flagship products. But I think one of the coolest things about the show that doesn't get the coverage it deserves are these big paradigm shifts, these things that happen that change the industry and change tech, and I think in turn kind of change consumers. And I think the smart home is one of them. We've heard the term smart home for years now. We've seen selective smart home products. But finally, we are at the shift where the smart home, like the vision of everything connected inside of your house is becoming possible. So I figured I would I'd sit in this like kind of house-ish setup and show you what the vision for the connected home is. And beyond that, what you can do with your home right now and some stuff that like maybe might be coming. All right, so I am at the Bosch booth in CES 2018. I think they have one of the most comprehensive smart home visions. And what that means for a smart home is obviously all of your devices are connected but that connectivity goes with you, whether you are on the road, whether you're traveling for work, but when you're sitting on your couch using your voice, you can control what's in your home, and I think more importantly, make your home work for you. So obviously you can use your voice to change the thermostat, change the temperature up and down, that stuff that we've seen. Using your voice to control 360 degree cameras and then hide that camera so it's not on all the time. Having things like smart switches and smart outlets that you can plug anything into and suddenly that takes them online. And obviously beyond that, using your phone. It's so using an app to control everything in your home. But there are also times when you're not near an Alexa or a voice enabled device. You don't have your phone with you. You want something sort of tangible to control all of these things. Something called a twist. That'll mount right on your wall and magnetically you can sort of pull it off and you can physically see all of the things that you control in your home. Control them, move them, change temperatures, move cameras, close doors, put it right back on the wall and you're good to go. So my vision of the smart home I think is twofold. To make my life easier and to solve problems. So behind me we've got the Rockster. It's a robot vacuum from Bosch and we've seen robot vacuums now for, for a super long time. But this does a few new things that we haven't seen before. So first, it'll use lasers to map out your house. And you can set sort of go or no-go zones. So in my house, I've got pets and their food and water bowls are on the floor. I've got robot vacuums that I set to go. and ends up just pushing them all over the place. So I could set a no-go area. That's kind of cool. And of course, you can control it also from your phone. So all that stuff are things that exist, but it wouldn't be CS without sort of concept stuff that we might see. And like, we've seen smart lamps before. You can turn them on from your phone, but this lamp has a projector that projects an image down and almost turns into a touchscreen. They've got it set up to even play games, to see the air temperature, to project anything, to see your doorbell. It's another way to interact with surfaces. So obviously, being the connected home, the kitchen's gonna be a big part of it. All of your stuff that you use at home can be connected. Things like your oven, your coffee machine, even your dishwasher. You can be notified via if to set up a custom pattern when your dishwasher is done or the dryer cycle is done. Flash the lights or play your favorite song. Another way that you can make your house smart. So there's a lot of cool potential for the connected home. A lot of stuff is here now and a lot of stuff, I think it's still coming in the future, things we're waiting for. Things like smart glass and smart mirrors, sort of on the cusp of becoming reality. But what Bosch has here and now is absolutely awesome. All right, so that was a connected home, but another pillar of the connected world is the connected city. And a lot of thoughts about Connective City seem like a little like big brothery, like cameras installed everywhere, but that is not the only way that you can have a connected city and a way a city can keep people safe. And what we've got here by Bosch is a product called Vivitar. This is something that already exists right now. It's an app you can download in the US and it exists in Germany that helps keep people safe. So it's a pretty simple concept in general. You download an app and somebody can accompany you on your journey home if you're a lady leaving a club where you just don't feel safe walking down an alley or making a right turn on that corner. This can let somebody essentially accompany you where you are. You'll share your location with them. They'll be able to chat with you in real time. There's optional Bluetooth accessories. You can give a little double click. It'll set off an alarm. And every long press, will send a Bosch equipped security team to help you out of your situation. These are things that exist right now. But the cool potential is how it's going to be integrated. Integration into college campuses to keep people safe, integrated into cities to keep people that are walking around safe, and help use technology to make just people generally happier, healthier, and of course safer. All right, so we've seen the connected home. We sort of showed a few ways to get into the connected city. 
What I've got next, I think might be hands down the coolest use of Internet of Things at the entire CES and perhaps even the world. Imagine pulling into a parking structure, getting out of your car, your mirrors fold in, and then your car just goes and like legit just goes and parks itself. And when you want your car back, it comes back to you. So what Bosch wants to do is put this technology into every car. They don't want to work with just one OEM. This is a network good. It only works if it's used everywhere. So imagine you're driving to meet a friend. You happen to drive by a parking spot, but you're not looking to park at that time. Your car in real time will notice there's a parking spot there. And if somebody else is coming to that area, it will notify them of a parking spot that exists and is available. So you're driving to a restaurant. All these cars have already given you information. You will know in real time where to go and how many parking spots are available. So you don't have to waste time circling and maybe, maybe you're not finding a parking spot. So we've seen Bosch's vision of the connected world, at least a sampling of what that vision is. We saw smart home, smart cities, but what's making all this smart stuff smart isn't years of degrees, well I guess the engineers years of degrees, but it's tiny, tiny little chips and sensors like one like this. This is the BMI 088. It's a gyroscope, accelerometer. This is what makes things work. And I thought I would sort of show this at the end to give it an appreciation for what makes all of this technology tick. Bosch is a company maybe you've heard of, maybe you've not heard of, but they are everywhere. They're in one of every two smartphones are already sold. They are in hardware, they're in software, and their vision for the connected world is pretty awesome. So if you think your world is different right now, remember in your home and in your city what's connected. And try to remember next year, two years from now, and look back at CES 2018 as where that tipping point was. When the world got smart, when your phone got smart, when your home got smart, when everything around you got smart to solve problems and make your life easier. So if you guys enjoyed this tour of the Bosch booth, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. I had a blast bringing this to you. If you want to learn more, we'll link to a ton of information down below. There's a lot more here that I couldn't show, so if you're at CES, certainly come visit. And if you're not here, check out Bosch. They're an incredible player with incredible technology. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger.